Hello everyone, Bashrob here. In this video I'm going to show you how to deal with wolves. I'm gonna go over all the items that work against them and compare their effectiveness and show ways to deal with wolves even when you have no items. First, let me explain a few things about wolf behavior in general. Aiming at any wolf that is within your field of view will affect its behavior in a consistent manner. If the wolf is stalking you, aiming will always make it charge, and if it's standing still and growling, it will always make it flee. Anything that you can aim with will work, from a rifle down to a simple stone. This is the easiest and most reliable way to deal with wolves. Whenever they grow, just aim a weapon. But note this doesn't work on aurora wolves. Stalking aurora wolves will still charge you, but growling ones will just ignore you and keep growling. Speaking of auroras, when an aurora starts and ends, wolves will always flee, no matter what they were doing. This is the only thing that can scare a wolf, even if it's already in a struggle with you. An aurora starting and ending refers to it being fully active, meaning all the lights are powered, and can happen no earlier than this time and no later than sunrise but of course it can start and end anywhere in this time window. Wearing a wolf skin or a bear skin coat will sometimes scare wolves away when they spot you. It seems it scares wolves about 20% of the time and aurora wolves about 10% of the time. Both coats provide the same bonus and the bonus doesn't stack if you wear two coats. One very important thing about wolf behavior is that they can sort of sense when you are too weak to fight and it affects the way they will behave. They are a lot more fearless. They will start charging from slightly farther away and they will not be scared if you walk towards them with a torch or a flare anymore. Instead, they will charge you. Wolf see you as weak if you have certain afflictions or negative conditions. I tested all afflictions I could think of and it seems only five of them affect wolf behavior. Exhaustion, encumbrance, blood loss, sprains of any kind and low condition give you this weak status. Things like parasites, pain, broken ribs and so on don't matter and wolves will still behave the usual way. One more thing I want to show you is how to recognize when a wolf is about to charge you before it actually does. Wolf's movement speed differs based on how far away it is from you. If it's too far, it sprints to catch up. If it's slightly far, it walks fast. If it's slightly too close, it walks slow. And if it's too close, it charges. However, the range at which the wolf starts walking fast instead of slow can vary a lot. And this is the key to recognizing if a wolf will charge you or not. A wolf that walks slowly even from far away, such as this one, doesn't really pose a threat and can be safely ignored. But if you see a wolf walking fast, even if it's very close, almost close enough to charge you, and never really walks slow, you don't have much time before it actually does charge you. For example this wolf. It walks fast even if it's pretty close, so it's about to charge. Let's talk about dealing with charging wolves now. Generally you have three options, either prevent them from being able to charge you, scare them off or kill them. I'm not gonna talk about killing them as that's a topic big enough for a separate video. Let's talk about preventing them from charging first. The idea is simple. Just hold the light source, which should prevent wolves from charging. But the way a wolf reacts differs so much based on the light source. Whether it's a regular wolf or an aurora wolf, whether you're weak or not, game settings and a few other things. So let's compare the light sources. Flares are the most reliable, as they work against both regular and aurora wolves for their entire duration. But with aurora wolves, you have to hold the flare. For some reason, aurora wolves completely ignore flares on ground. 
But flares are relatively rare, so you can't rely on them all the time. Torches are a lot easier to obtain. Torches work only against regular wolves, though if the wolf gets close, they will only protect you for a couple seconds and after that the wolf will charge. So before those couple seconds are up, you either have to move away from the wolf or aim with a weapon to scare it off. And as long as you are not a weak target, walking towards the wolf will always scare it off as well. But keep in mind this only works reliably with torches. With flares there's only a chance this will scare a wolf, regardless if you're weak or not. Fires work much more reliably against wolves, however it is possible for wolves to charge you if you are not careful. First, wolves are not scared of stoves, only open fires fire barrels and rim grills will make wolves stop. Second, the wolf needs to have a line of sight to the fire before it reaches you, otherwise it won't care about the fire. For this reason, the fire barrel at Signal Hill usually doesn't protect you against wolves, as they can't see it until they get very close. Third, it's best to stand in a way so that the fire is between you and the wolf, that way, it will always run away after growling for 10 minutes. If the wolf is closer to you than the fire, it might charge, especially if you're passing time cooking. So be very careful passing time if you hear a charging wolf, even if you have a lit fire. And while torches and fires don't protect you from aurora wolves, they still cannot walk through them, so you can sort of use it as a last resort protection and dance around the torch or the fire while you try to kill the wolf. Flashlight is the only item that doesn't work on regular wolves, but it does work very reliably against aurora wolves. To scare aurora wolves with the flashlight, you just need to flash the high beam for a short bit to stop them. They work just like torches do against regular wolves. You can just walk towards the wolf to scare it, but only as long as you're not weak. Also, keep in mind flashlights become usable quite a bit earlier before wolves turn into aurora wolves and it doesn't work at all against regular wolves, so make sure the wolf already turned into an aurora wolf before you try this, otherwise the wolf will just ignore it. Torches, flares and marine flares can also be thrown to scare wolves away. This is usually the inferior strat to just dropping the item and aiming with a stone or a weapon, since it doesn't work every time, though it's good to know in case you don't have any weapon on you. And if you don't throw it too far, you can just pick it back up and repeat it until it does scare the wolf. None of the thrown items work on aura wolves though. Each stone you throw at a wolf has a chance to scare it away and the chance is higher if you hit the wolf. This is honestly quite useful since it doesn't require you to use up any matches or flares. It's very cheap. You can throw stones without aiming so the wolf doesn't charge you and just keep throwing them until you get lucky and then you can collect your stones back. It's the cheapest way to deal with wolves. Just like with torches and flares, this doesn't work on aurora wolves. However, wolves scared by stones do not behave the same way as when they are scared by other means. Normally, when you scare a wolf, it runs away from you and stops fleeing once it's far enough. But this doesn't apply to stones. A wolf scared by a stone only flees in a random direction for a couple seconds and after that it is ready to aggro again. So if you are planning to use stones to scare wolves away, Make sure that when the fleeing wolf decides to run towards you, get as far away from it as you can, otherwise the wolf might decide to stop fleeing when it's very close to you and charge you right away. It's important to note that the effectiveness of throwing stones, flares and torches is affected by wolf fear settings. In all baseline difficulties, 
wolf fear is set to the same level, medium. So what I said in this video applies to all difficulties from pilgrim to interloper. But on custom games you could make this more effective or completely turn this off, meaning wolves will never be scared if you throw a stone or a flare. However, this setting doesn't quite seem to work as intended, as even when you turn wolf fear off, torches still seem to work almost all the time, despite what the description says, and flares also work as long as you hit the wolf, but will no longer work if you just throw one in front of the wolf. So for the most part, it only seems to affect stones. Weapons can also be used defensively in order to scare wolves away. The noisemakers are the only item that's guaranteed to work against both wolves and aurora wolves, but they are quite expensive to make and the recipe requires unlocking first by finding some in either Blackrock or Blake Inlet. And if you don't have any noisemakers, the revolver is still almost guaranteed to work for defense. Against Aurora Wolves, each shot has a 50-50 chance of either scaring the wolf or pissing it off and making it charge you. Though if it does charge, you can just shoot again and again until it flees. Of course, this does work with the rifle too, but it shoots much slower and you can't hip fire it. So it's better suited for actually killing wolves rather than scaring them. Flare guns, on the other hand, are very unreliable against the Aurora Wolves, but are guaranteed to work against regular wolves, with one exception. Don't shoot the flare guns straight in the air, for some reason that makes wolves charge instead of fleeing. Arrows sometimes scare wolves, but are too unreliable to use defensively, and fire hardened arrows never scare a charging wolf. But wolf behavior is different if you use any of these items before they even spot you. In general, wolves not aware of your presence are much easier to scare. All weapons scare unaware wolves reliably. Even arrows that don't hit them are guaranteed to scare them as long as they land nearby. Fire-hardened arrows work as well as long as you hit the wolf but only about 80% of the time. The other 20% of the time the wolf will just ignore it, though you can always shoot more. And using stones you can get past wolves without them ever noticing you by simply crouching and throwing rocks to distract any wolves nearby. This is guaranteed to work as long as the wolf doesn't walk too close to you. You also have to make sure you're not carrying any smelly items, otherwise the wolves will find you. In order to move faster while using stealth, you can utilize a technique called tap crouching, which is basically just tapping the crouch button. That way, you still get stealth from crouching while also moving faster. And there is one more way to scare wolves away that doesn't require any items and that is using nearby wildlife that a wolf can respond to. Any wildlife that's not a wolf will work. Bears and moose will make the wolf flee, while rabbits, deer and ptarmigans will make the wolf forget about you and hunt them instead, which is a great way to not only get rid of the wolf, but also get some free snack by stealing it from the wolf right after it kills its prey. There's one thing to keep in mind though, a wolf that's charging will stay locked onto its target no matter what, so if it's already charging after some rabbit, you don't have to worry about it, but at the same time, if you bring it to a bear and it's already charging you, it won't be scared by the bear at all. The last way to deal with wolves is to use your surroundings for protection. There's the obvious stuff like buildings and cars, but goating up steep cliffs or fallen trees will also protect you very reliably. In these cases, the wolf just gives up because it knows it cannot reach you. 
But wolves will also give up if they cannot enter a struggle for whatever reason, for example if there is something in the way. If some object is blocking a wolf from forcing you into a struggle, it will just run away instead. This is one of the most powerful ways to deal with wolves and you can hide behind many objects like this. However, if you are weak, the wolf will usually not run away but will just be stuck in the place, forcing you to scare it off or somehow kill it. But since it doesn't move, it's pretty easy to kill it. Though, if you don't have a weapon, it's best to make sure you're not weak before using this strategy or that you can heal your weak status somehow. You can do this even with snow shelters and lit fires, though they seem even more buggy. If you stand on top of one, the wolf will often completely forget it was even following you. And this works even with aurora wolves, so I guess fires aren't so useless against aurora wolves after all. Keep in mind that with fires they do have to be lit and you kinda have to stand on top of it to work, but you obviously don't want to burn yourself, so the sweet spot to stand on is roughly where the cooking spots are. These are pretty much all possible ways to deal with wolves. If I had to pick the best ones, I'd probably choose hiding behind objects as it doesn't cost any resources. And if I'm weak, I can just kill the wolf as it will stay in place. But leading wolves to deer or rabbits is also great since it's free food. But it's subjective, all of these options can be useful. I didn't cover only decoys and killing, which I'll go over in future videos. That's everything for now. Thanks for watching.